Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next video, where we are looking at all the rolling stock used by the train operating companies since privatisation. Today we will be focusing on Silverlink, which ran trains for 10 years between March 1997 and November 2007. If you haven't done so already, then please check out our previous videos in the series, links are appearing now. Also, if you like what you see here and you're new to the channel, then please like and subscribe. All your support goes a long way for the channel and also supports the BPMR. So let's roll the intro. Silverlink Trains forms a part of the North London Railways franchise which was awarded to National Express on the 7th of February 1997. National Express then started operating the franchise on the 3rd of March the same year, with the franchise expected to end on the 15th of October 2006. For the first six months, the franchise initially traded as North London Railways. However, in September 1997, the franchise was rebranded as Silverlink. Silverlink was split into two separate sub-brands, Silverlink Metro which encompassed routes within the Greater London area, these included the North London Line between North Woolwich and Richmond, the West London Line between Willesden Junction and Clapham Junction, the Watford DC Lines between London Euston and Watford Junction, and finally the Goblin Line between Gospel Oak and Barking. The other sub-brand was Silverlink County, which was used for their outer London services including those on the West Coast Main Line between London Euston and Northampton, the Sir Albans Abbey Branch from Watford Junction, and the Marsden Vale Line between Bedford and Bletchley. During the Silverlink franchise, there were a couple of changes to the services. Until September 2004, Silverlink had run trains as far as Birmingham New Street, however services north of Northampton were transferred to another National Express franchise, Central Trains. On Saturday the 9th of December 2006, the line between Stratford and North Woolwich was closed with part of the route earmarked for conversion to the Dockers Light Railway between Stratford and Canning Town. The Dockers Light Railway added three new stations at Stratford High Street, Abbey Road and Star Lane. The remainder of the route between Canning Town and North Woolwich would eventually become part of the Elizabeth Line with only Custom House Station due to reopen. Silverlink trains would also miss out on the opening of a new station at Shepherd's Bush. The station eventually opened in 2008 after the franchise ended as platforms needed to be widened. The station had been kitted out with Silverlink branded signage before being replaced with London Overground branding upon opening. Silverlink was awarded a franchise extension of 13 months from the 15th of October 2006 until the 11th of November 2007. However, as a part of the wider redrawing of the rail franchise map by the Department of Transport, the franchise was to be broken up. The Silverlink Metro services were handed to Transport for London as a concession to become the London Overground, while Silverlink County services merged with Central Trains into a new West Midlands franchise. This was won by Govia and eventually became known as London Midland. Now let's move on to the trains. Silverlink Metro worked the Class 313s on the North London, West London and Watford DC lines for the entire franchise. They would also see some use on the Sir Albans Abbey branch as well. Silverlink inherited 23 units, all of which received refurbishment and Silverlink Metro branding during the franchise. Silverlink also leased three Class 508 Zeros in 2003 for use on the Watford DC lines and to assist its fleet of Class 313s. These were modified to make them more compatible with the 313s and after a refurbishment they were reclassed as 508 3s. The Class 313 and 508 outlived a Silverlink franchise being withdrawn after the Class 378 Capital Stars had been delivered to London Overground.
The class 3214s were a second batch of 30 units of the class ordered by Network Southeast to operate routes on the southeastern and west coast mainlines in 1988. In the end, all 30, plus an additional 18, began to be delivered to Bletchley TMD from July 1989. This followed the successful first batch which was ordered earlier, again for the Great Eastern, West Coast and Regional Railways for West Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive. Silverlink inherited 37 units of the Class 3214s for use on Silverlink County services to Northampton and the Sir Albans Abbey branch. With the transfer of Silverlink services north of Northampton to Birmingham being handed to Central Trains in September 2004, some Class 321s were hired out to Central Trains, although three units were hired in from National Express East Anglia to cover. This hire arrangement ended in 2005 with the arrival of the Class 350s. By the end of the franchise, all remaining Class 3214s were transferred to London Midland with a few remaining in service with them into 2015. Today, 15 units are now in service with Greater Anglia. 12 have been converted to Class 3204s for use with ScotRail, whilst the rest have been either stored, scrapped or allocated for conversion to Class 600s, which is a proposal to convert a few remaining units to hydrogen fuel. The Class 351s came about after an order of 32 five-car Class 452s for Southwest trains not going fully to plan. With works to lengthen platforms on the Southwest trains network not being authorised, the order was changed with 10 units of four-car Class 450s being delivered to Southwest trains, whilst 30 four-car Class 351s entered service with National Express to be jointly used by Silverlink and Central trains. These entered service in 2005. The Class 351s were built as dual voltage electric units that can both operate on the 750 volts DC third rail and the 25 kilovolts AC overhead wires. This capability was briefly used when Southern leased several units between 2008 and 2009. All subsequent subclasses of the Class 350s were built without the third rail equipment. Silverlink and Central Trains jointly operated these units between 2005 and 2007 until both franchises expired, with the class being transferred to London Midland. Because the units were shared between two franchises, the fleet had a neutral grey and blue livery. The Class 150 Sprinters were constructed by Brell in York between 1984 and 1987 for use on regional rail services across the UK. They were developed alongside the lower cost Pacers to replace many ageing first generation DMUs which were still in service at the time dating back to the 1950s. In total 135 units were built for British Rail across two batches. Silverlink acquired seven units that were cascaded down from Central Trains in 2000 following the delivery of their Class 170 turbo stars. In late 2005, an eighth unit, 150121, joined them. They were used on the Marsden Rail Line between Bletchley and Bedford and on the Gospel Oak to Barking Line in North and East London, replacing the venerable Class 117s and 121s. All eight units received names during their time with Silverlink, with the majority of the names being references to the Marsden Vale line. Two units received slightly different names, with Unit 150123 being named Richard Crane after the chairman of the Bletchley to Bedford Rail Users Association, whilst Unit 150131 was named after Leslie Crabb, who was a long-standing Rowie employee. Some names had been transferred from the earlier classes that the 150s replaced. When the franchise ended, London Overground inherited all eight units, of which six continued in service with them, whilst the other two were sent on long-term loan to First Great Western. 
Eventually, the London Overground replaced the Class 150s with Class 172 Turbo Stars from Bombardier in October 2010. The withdrawn Class 150s followed their classmates to First Great Western. Today, they are now in service with Northern. Silverlink inherited four units of the Class 121s, nicknamed bubble cars for use on their non-electrified lines, which worked alongside 10 Class 117s, which had been based at Bletchley since 1992. These units were known as first generation DMUs, with the Class 117s being built by pressed steel between 1959 and 1961, and the Class 121s being built in 1960. The Class 117s had worked on the Thames Valley services before moving to Bletchley. They remained in Network South East livery until being replaced by the Class 150s in 2000. The Class 121s survived until 2001 until finally being replaced by the Class 150s. A few members of the class can be found operating on heritage lines across the UK. It is also noted that in 1998 and 1999, Silverlink hired in Class 31s from Fragonset to top and tail Mark II coaches on the Marston Vale line, pending the arrival of the Class 150s from Central Trains. Whilst in 2004, Silverlink briefly introduced two sets of Mark III rolling stock, which were still in Virgin Trains livery, hauled by Virgin Class 87 and an EWS Class 90 electric locomotives, for peak hour Northampton services. This was in response to Virgin Trains announcing that they were withdrawing most of its stops at Milton Keynes as well as awaiting the arrival of the Class 350s. Well that's it for this video. I'd like to thank Stuart McKay from the website railcar.co.uk for allowing me to include a few images from his website. It is a great resource for anyone who's interested in first generation diesel multiple units. There are plenty of images and information to check out, so why not give the website a visit? The link is in the description. Also, I am looking forward to reading your comments, and I'm interested to hear what video I should do next. I am leaning towards a highly requested Airport Express service next. I'd like to thank the Rari patrons for supporting us as well, and until next time, goodbye.